What's good, YouTube? Hey, man, it's Mike Too Faded. I'm coming back with another video, man. As you can see, bro, I got my guy Vaughn in the chair, and uh, I'm about to give y'all a tutorial, man. So first, you want to start by picking out the hair, combing out the hair, and just making sure everything is just all even, and you know, how you start is how you finish, man. So most barbers don't start by cleaning the canvas, you know, but I start off cleaning my canvas, making sure the lineup is already prepped before I go in and do anything. I start by going in with my Andes. I must put my guy line in at the crease of the ear and at the bottom of his vertical bar because he has a short vertical bar and a, a, a okay lining that this, this, this is the best hairstyle for him, a high taper fade. You just want to do that all around the head and make sure everything, all the lines is even. Make sure your canvas is, everything is symmetrical. You want to make sure everything is in the right placement. So I start off with an open lever with my Stylecraft Rogue. I think these the Rogue, whatever it is called, man. The Stylecraft, man. You know, I set my, I go in about a, a full inch. And, um, you know, I'm just playing with that lever as I walk down. With the lip from the lever being open, I'm walking down and I'm standing underneath that line. Now I go in with my two guard and I'm just debunking the the top area, the dark the dark space, and um I'm just making sure I'm just debunking and getting ready, getting myself prepared for that 1.5 and that one guard. So now I just go in with my 1.5 and it's uh with the lever open. And I'm just really debunking that one guard line. You know, I'm just flicking out and I'm not flicking, I'm not going straight into the hair. I'm just flicking out of that line. And I'm making sure that I stay and use my corners as much as possible because we fade in a small, tight space right now. And um, you don't want to touch too much of, of what you don't want to touch, if that makes sense. So now I'm fading down, going to my one guard with the lever open, and I'm just attacking that line right there, as you can see, with the lever open, and I'm just going to keep flicking out and attacking that line and combing. You got to make sure you use your comb or brush. I prefer the comb because it spaces the hair out as you're trying to fade. The brush bulks up the hair and it cuts more hair than, than you want. You know, you get what I'm saying? Spaces, the comb spaces the hair out for you to fade better. So basically how I fade the same steps, how I went with the lever open and I walked down with the lever. I'm going in with the lever open with the one guard and I'm walking down with the lever and then I'm put on my half guard to get that middle line out and the blend is going to open up and everything is going to be in the right placement of the fade. So basically I'm going to scissor through the hair, just do my detail and make sure everything just detail and i don't want to focus too much on detail right now i just want to make sure the blend is looking okay as i use the tip of my teeth to make everything look blended so on this side you know it's the same you apply the same steps on the other side so you can make everything look uh symmetrical and everything matches on this side of the video i want to just give y'all positive advice and just en uh, encourage y'all as barbers to keep pushing y'all forward to y'all success and uh, I want to give a small shout out to Get Bean for motivating me, inspiring me to be a barber and um, and inspiring me to be a YouTuber at that, man. He's a he's a motivational speaker. He's just not a barber. He's somebody that takes his time on detail and I respect him. So I wanted to give a small shout out to Get Bean, one of my mentors, my masters. And I respect him and I want him to be uh, the best ever, man. And I want to see him be better than every barber that's out here, man, because he's the GOAT. He's the great. I want to give y'all some advice, man, on being a young barber, man. You know, you can't jump in this game and, and be and be scared to cut here, man. You got to jump in this game and be willing to learn and be willing to mess up, be willing to fail. Because when you fail, on the other side of that, on the other side of failure is success. On the other side of failure is blessings man so you know when you fall man you got to know that god is going to pick you up man and you know you can't get discouraged you gotta you gotta stay stand strong on your faith you can't lean on, on fear you gotta lean on your faith man and uh man cutting hair is spiritual man it's not it's just not about these clips it's not about the money it's spiritual man it's, a, it's spiritual work you gotta know that you're just not a barber you're a therapist man you're here for somebody 
somebody that's sitting in your chair, man, they must, they might be going through a lot, man. So you know, you want to be bigger than, you want to be bigger than the person, the average person that stand behind that chair, man, and just sit there for the money. You know, it's very spiritual, man. You know, you just wanna be an outgoing person, bro, and you know, give every everybody the best of who you are. You know what I'm saying? And hey, man, make 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 the best of it. So on the back table, man, everything is the same steps, man. You just apply the same steps. On the back, the, the back of the head is, is just a bigger space for you to fade, man. That's it. So all you're doing is applying the same steps, bro. And, you know, just staying consistent and making sure everything in the right place. That's it, man. So I go in with some shaving cream, and uh, this is my um, this is my hairline prep. I use alcohol and shaving cream. The shaving cream is just it just cleans the skin and opens up the pores. And uh, I use the hot towel to open up the pores and just get all the oil out of the skin. So when we use them trimmers, everything is just gonna be flush. So me personally, I go in with my back line and I work my way to the front. Me going in with my back line is just giving me basically a rough draft or just, you know, just getting me warmed up for that front line, man. And, you know, basically you just, you just want to stay consistent, man, and just make sure them lines is just looking straight. Don't give up on yourself. If, it, if it's not looking straight, man, keep working on it, man. You know, it's, that's about detail work. The line up even, you have to, even with the line up, you have to work on detail. So now, man, I just go in, I start my way from in the middle, and I work my way to the right, and that's to the left. I only work to right to left, only on straight hairlines, people with strong hairlines. But if somebody is receding, or they have a, a crooked hairline, I work, I, I start from my strongest side, and then I go to the, from that side to the other side. Now this is a this is where a lot of barbers have trouble at with the vertical bars. How you set the vertical bars in, you have to use his eye, the corner of his eye, his eyebrow as reference points. You have to use his face structure as a reference point. You cannot just set the line in and expect that it's gonna everything is gonna match. You have to use his face. That's the only way to have everything looking symmetrical and looking perfect. So now basically what I was doing is I was just detailing my work, you know, just spinning the block, making sure everything is just looking correct. And you know, when, when you detail it, man, have fun with it, bro. Barbering is fine, bro. You just gotta, you feel me? Just make sure you, you set everything in correctly. 
and you go back around, you detail, you make sure everything is laced, and you know what I'm saying? Everything, you put your finishing touches. It's just like writing an essay in school, man. You know, you got to do a rough draft, and probably two rough drafts, you know, before you had a final complete essay. So I go in with my clutch card, with the KISS uh, enhancements, you know, with alcohol, and basically I'm just spraying it lightly onto the card so it can just kiss off the card to the hair and make everything look blended in. So here's the final look, man. Everybody hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications if you're new. And hey, man, bro, you know, this is work, man. This is work. Hey, I'm one year in. I'm just trying to see what the future holds, man. And, you know, I'm just trying to stay consistent, keep bringing more content for y'all guys. And, you know, teaching y'all what I know. You know, just learning from each other. Iron sharpen iron, baby. Let's do it.